It's Tuesday the 30th of March and welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host Mark Anthony. Uh, We will get to the news headlines in just a second but first let's take our usual look around those all-important celebrity birthdays and the bakers of celebrity birthday cakes are going to be busy as hell today. Uh, It's many happy returns to guitarist Eric Clapton, to actor Robbie Coltrane, singer Celine Dion, rapper MC Hammer and to Real Madrid captain Sergio Ramos, a man with an impressive collection of red cards. So happy birthday to one and all. I know they'll be tuning in. Uh, We'll be right back after this. If you enjoyed this show, please consider supporting us. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash demolition news. Now, plant hirers are a shrewd bunch, and they don't invest their money without the potential of some serious payback. So the news that Sunbelt Rental has just placed a £65 million order with JCB says a lot about their confidence for the months and the years ahead. And that's not just great news for Sunbelt and JCB, for who this is the biggest single order in their 75-year history. This is surely indicative of a wider optimism which will provide yet another boost for the industry sentiment. The flagship order comprises more than 2,000 machines including JCB loadal telescopic handlers, mini and mini excavators, site dumpers, tracked excavators and rough terrain forklifts, all manufactured at JCB's Staffordshire factories. And Sunbelt is also investing in 350 JCB access platforms. Now, my mate and my uh, construction collective co-founder, Peter Haddock, has already spoken to Sunbelt's Andy uh, Wright, the the CEO over there, in an exclusive video interview. You can see the full interview by going over to LinkedIn, uh, where Peter is the undisputed king, um, and you can just search for his name and you can see it there. Um, And we have added a quick link to it in our extended show notes as well. Um, But here's a very quick look at what uh, both Peter and Andy Wright have to say. And I've got Andy Wright uh, on the Zoom today with me. Andy, big deal. Tell me all about it, please. We've entered into an arrangement with JCB to tune £65 million across a number of product ranges from now through the rest of this year through to September. We've invested heavily in dumpers, excavators, telehandlers, generators and powered access. And, you know, what's behind this? Well, we have made no bones about it. Our vision is to own the future rental. Our mission is to deliver a world-class rental experience. And in doing that, you need the best kit to do that. So massive congratulations to both JCB and to Sunbelt Rentals on this mammoth order. That really is very, very significant. And hats off also to uh, to Peter Haddock for getting this interview in the can so quickly. I guess that's what you can do when you're one of the most connected people in the industry. Now, from one equipment manufacturer to another, uh, Liebe Great Britain set tongues wagging last night with the news that it is about to selling to, to start selling used parts. But that headline is somewhat misleading. Now, it is true that Liebe Great Britain has launched a website offering customers thousands of parts at, used, uh, at reduced prices. The site, which you can find at liebherr-parts.co.uk, is exclusive to UK customers and lists a, lists a comprehensive range of surplus and spare parts for earth-moving and materials handling machines. Uh, parts for cranes and piling rigs are not included. Even so, the term used, and I'm going to do it in, in inverted commas, is a misnomer. Uh, These parts could be simply excess stock items or parts that have been removed from new or very low hour machines, says Richard G, General Manager of Earthming After Sales at Liebherr Great Britain. Liebherr prides itself on its ability to customise products specifically to match customer requirements, and this sometimes results in standard parts being removed from new machines. The good news for UK customers is that these unused surplus items can be bought at reduced prices. Good news indeed. Uh, Lee Pair Great Britain reports that the inventory of buckets, grabs, tyres, undercarriage, sticks, booms, pumps, rams, cylinders and handrails will be updated daily. So that web address again, when I can find it, is uh, leapair-parts.co.uk. Now, it's time for this. I'm not going to sing it for you, but there is a house in New Orleans they call the Rising Sun. Well, it turns out there's a hotel in Sheffield with exactly the same name, or at least there is for now, uh, because the 18th century former coaching inn has been earmarked for demolition ahead of the construction of a new £4 million replacement hotel. 
The architect on the project is uh, Peak Architects, and Harris CM is thought to be in the running for the new build portion of the works, but a demolition contractor has yet to be appointed. You can find out more about this project lead and hundreds more just like it over at buildersconference.co.uk. If you were here yesterday, you will know that we unveiled our new extended show notes, and I'm very pleased to say that they appear to have gone down very, very well because we had lots of people downloading them yesterday. Uh, but start just in case you missed it, starting yesterday, each show is accompanied now by detailed show notes containing the written contents for each show, uh, together with photographs, external links, and any anything else we care to throw in there as well. Um, these notes are added immediately after each show ends, so if you're watching live, you can check back in a few minutes and you'll find them there. But if you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram, um, or if you're listening to the audio version a bit later today, then the show notes will already be there. Uh, it's our hope that these will become a valuable archive resource, both for us and for you. Uh, it's certainly helping me to search through things. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the thinking behind that. So go check those out um, once this show has ended. And finally, we, we had a phone call yesterday uh, from a regular viewer who has suggested that we add a phone-in element to this show. Now, I've checked with the platform provider, and a live phone-in is not currently possible using the uh, the system that I use. However... We do have a workaround. Um, if you would like to record a video or an audio message on your mobile phone and forward it to us, um, we can include it here and then respond accordingly. Um, ultimately, this show, like all our shows, is all about community and about providing you with a platform and, and with a voice as well. So if you have something to say, um, if you've got a question to ask, if you'd like to offer some constructive criticism, <laughs> ideally keep it clean uh, then hit the record button on your mobile phone and fire it over to us uh, at the usual email address best one to use is mark anthony 1965 at gmail.com uh, rather we'd love to get you on the show uh, that just about wraps up things for today. Uh, just as soon as I've knocked today's show notes into shape, I am going to be heading over to take a look around uh, the Hillhead Digital event, uh, which doesn't require me to go all the way to Buxton, which is kind of a relief. Uh, if you care to join me, you can find it at hillhead.com forward slash digital. Uh, I'll be back here again tomorrow, and if that prospect doesn't fill you with dread, twice on Thursday. Uh, this show will air at 10 a.m. as usual on Thursday and then at 10 by Builders Conference CEO Neil Edwards to look back over the contract awards figures for the month of March. So make sure to join us at 10.30 on Thursday for what promises to be one very upbeat show indeed. In the meantime, have a great day. Um, we hope to see you over at the uh, Hillhead Digital uh, event uh, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same place and the same ever-evolving content. Thanks for joining us, and I'll see you all again.